am Sherman Dwedelbar, a graduate student in Tesla Mall Department at Luzon. Today, I am going to introduce you an online interactive whiteboard called Explain Everything, and mainly focus, focusing on how to use how students can use it for collaborative projects and how teachers can provide a descriptive feedback for their students' work in a distance. First of all, I would like to define what an interactive whiteboard actually means. An interactive whiteboard is a large electronic device that can either be a touch screen, standalone touch screen computer, used independently to perform tasks or operations, or it can be a combination of three components, a projector, a computer, and an actual whiteboard. Uh, first of all, all, all those, those devices are perfect to use in the classroom. There is a big issue to consider. Can, uh, can those devices are used for interact interaction? Can a single big screen can be interactive for a lot of students, a teacher? Unfortunately, there is in the practical, it's never going to work. So, and this is where a different kind of uh, interactive whiteboard apps come in in different devices that can be put on the hands of students and teachers. And one of them is explain everything. It gives you everything that an interactive whiteboard gives you, but on the hand of mobile devices, on the screen of a mobile device. And Explain Everything is one of the fastest growing interactive whiteboard uh, that you can use for screencasting and uh, voice recording. It allows users, I mean for students and teachers, to work on the same project simultaneously uh, using multiple devices. Uh, and about its price. Of course, anyone can use it for free, but if you want some upgraded features, uh, you can subscribe for a month or for a year. For example, I subscribe uh, monthly and it cost me less than 9,000 Korean won for a month. After a month, if I don't want, I can stop my subscription. And now, first of all, I would like uh, to focus on its collaborative features, how students can use it for collaboration. In her research, Emma Mercer at University of Illinois examined some group configurations and found that students responded more often to uh, ideas that are offered by their peers than they did to those offered by teachers. And students find uh, group projects worthwhile, the hearing of uh, others that can help the, in the, their own understanding. But no matter how group projects are valued by students, there is a question. Do you think that uh, when you give your students a teamwork, they can collaborate with each other? Do you think that they stay somewhere or gather in order to discuss and the teamwork? Unfortunately, nothing is more frustrating for teachers than students' lack of interest in group projects. But uh, some interactive whiteboard apps like Explain Everything can help you to collaborate a class of devices all together. And now I will show you how you can use for group collaboration. I mean, this in this actual whiteboard, I will show you the process. When you start the whiteboard in, in explaineverything.com, you will start a new project, and you, as you can see, a whiteboard appears on the screen, and students. Uh, any student or a teacher can start the project as a host and they can share it with other participants. And how? 
As you see, there's a button invite called invite. First, a host uh, will define whether other participants can view, download, or edit the project. After this, they can use different ways in order to collaborate others into the project. How? The first one is by sharing the link. As you see, there is a link. They will share it and other participants who have this link, they can join the group project just by clicking the link. The second one is the host can include other users' email address or their explain everything account and they can also easily join the project. And the third way, I think the most easiest one is by this code. You see there is a code here. The host send, sends it other participants and they can um, As you see, on the uh, home page, there is a place, there is a blank. As soon as you enter the code, you can easily join the project. And now, let's imagine this is a host computer and this is other student. And I will show you how uh, other students can join it. I will use the code here. I will enter the code.
forget your oral feedback or they ignore looking back their previous work with teachers' feedback written uh, in red pen. And due to technological advancement nowadays, we can integrate any kind of technology to give to deliver digital feedback to our students. And one of the most one of the most and the most effective and mostly used uh, way of leveraging technology into delivery feedback is integrating the text with audio or video. It means that while you are writing any kind of feedback, you can use your voice as well, or you can uh, screen your, you can take the video as well. First, uh, I, will, I want to show a simple feedback project that I prepared for my students' work. You can see how you can use it to explain everything to deliver a digital feedback with both written, audio and video. Students. 
And now, I would like to uh, give the advantages of using voice recording in your uh, feedback delivery. Once Denton said, uh, Denton pointed that teachers can write uh, about 30 words per minute while they can uh, they can record about 135 words per minute while they are recording their voice. You see the, the differences. For example, for my students' work, for written feedback, I spend the same time that I spend for the feedback that I have prepared digitally. But if I give this to my students, they don't understand anything or they throw it away. But if I give this digital feedback, they can save it and they can use it whenever they want. And Mary and Ortman also, uh, they also examined and asked the students the effectiveness of audio feedback and students answered that when they perceive, they receive an audio feedback, it is, uh, they have found it much more personalized, integrated and uh, Emery, Emery and Atkins also claim that while you are giving the, uh, digital feedback, you will give not only improve, uh, just you will not only correct their mistakes, but you can also give uh, some suggestions how they can improve their uh, work because it takes too uh, less time to record your voice. And besides that, Richard and Dukes also said that if you use red pen. Students find it uh, a bit pressure, they take a bit pressure and they perceive it negatively. So, if you use explain everything, you can use any other color except red. For example, let's say green color that can uh, create some, uh, that can improve students' reading ability. And besides that, while you are using this explain everything, you can give a burger feedback. I think most of you have heard about this. It means that you will combine praise, then corrective feedback and praise. If you give a written feedback, feedback or if you use strict changes in a Microsoft Word, you cannot do this. But if you use explain everything, you can give, you can use this method. And the last advantage of giving digital feedback is that students can keep it and they don't worry about losing key ideas for future. In the future they can just open, listen and watch anytime they want. Now, as a workshop, I would like you to do to practice it in our own mobile devices. Now, I will start as a host and uh, anyone can start, can open their mobile devices, just they can click explaineverything.com and you can just, there is a code, you will enter the code and you can join the project.
enter the code.
you can only record for a minute if you are using only free account. But if you want uh, the upgraded version, in this case you have to subscribe. So this is all that I am going to present today. If you have any questions, you are welcome. If you want to explore a little bit more, you can do it in explaineverything.com. They have a menu that uh, explains everything, how you can do it, how you can use it for your students. So, is there any questions? Yeah, you are welcome. Can I ask a question? So this isn't touch screen only, right? Someone could use this with their laptop as well? Yeah, for any mobile device. The best option is using it on tablet. Okay. You can use just pen. Right. It's easy to work on it. Uh, but it does mean that you can't use it on other devices. It's possible. Any laptop, phone, smartphone, or tablet, it doesn't matter. Okay. And one more question today. Um, does it come with any kind of preloaded or pre-formatted like lessons or activities that maybe are create? I guess does it, is there user-generated content that is shared similar to something like Kahoot, where you can get quizzes that other people have prepared? Uh, do you mean that the projects that have been created by others? Yes. Yeah, there are a lot of. I don't know the website actually, but uh, I have checked and a lot of people uploaded their projects and most of them are on different uh, subjects, mostly in scientific, like in mathematics as well, because it's very easy to use it in mathematics like for calculating, but I have seen a uh, few projects that have been created for language purposes. So I would like you to insert it in your future uh, class. You can easily interact, uh, integrate your students into group projects. So. Is this, uh, have you satisfied with the with answer? So, if you, are, if you don't have any questions, I will continue.